Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's go to you our journeys. Episode 7, Mary's Tears. The helicopter passed us by. They didn't see us. Don't give up yet. Over here, we're down here. Come back, please. Come back. That's desperate. It's no use, Macy. They're gone. I don't understand. The logs and seaweed were arranged perfectly. Yes, the SOS looked perfect. We're in a desert island. The wind changed constantly. You think winds can do that? Now, you're the climate expert. Why didn't you do it, Mr. Know-it-all? Calm down. If we keep fighting, we won't solve anything. You right, hon. We have to calm down. The important thing is that we're all together. That's right. We can't risk losing anyone else. I can't do this anymore, babe. I can't handle what's happening to us anymore. I act like I'm strong, but I'm not. Not really. You're never strong. Yes, you are, and you just continue proving it. It's time we take one step. We go back several more. I don't understand what's happening to us. Are we cursed? Maybe. We are fighting nature. It's a tough enemy. I hope it's only that. What do you mean? I don't know. But the thing with the seaweed and the SOS was very strange. I don't understand what happened. I'll help her thing. I'll distract her. Looks like the logs were moved around by the tide. You really think that, Adam? Really? But the tide didn't rise again. Maybe an animal? If there's an animal capable of doing that, we should be worried. Do you think there's someone else on the island? If there is, they are preventing us from leaving. You mean this? I hate this godforsaken island. That helicopter was our only chance. We're going to find another way, Leonardo, I promise. If a storm doesn't kill us first, at least you, I'm afraid I'll be dead before a storm even gets here. I'm exhausted and hoarse from shouting so much. We spent many hours in the jungle looking for you guys. We walked and we shouted till we were hoarse. I feel like I'll never act again. You tell me. I'd give anything to be at Mary's, even if it was the busiest day. We have to lift the group spirit or we won't survive. You're right. The problem is that we have a lot of free time. We need to keep our heads busy with something productive. What do you have in mind? What kind of productive? I'll put the group into action. Yes, you'll be the boss again. Guys, we are feeling very discouraged and I get it. But we can't go on like this. We have to stay busy with activities. That sounds better than waiting to die. Exactly. That way, we'll be more productive. And clear our minds of negative thoughts. What do you have in mind? Let's work in teams. Leonardo and Emily. You'll work with the seaweed and logs. Make it say SOS again. And this time, I'll watch it all night and day so nothing happens to it. I'll keep your word to it. That's the spirit. On our way back, we saw fruits that we could eat. Great, but you'll go with Miles. Phoenix and Adam are going to bring firewood to light the bonfire. And you can sit in the camp, right? A big bonfire that will save us. And doing nothing like Katie. I don't understand what happened to the locks. Me neither, but we'll leave everything like new. First, we'll take these logs over here. 
Good, let's use those new ones over there. Do you think this looks like an O? Doesn't it look like a square? What's the difference? Let's see, maybe if we move this lock here and that other one there. Better? Perfect, now it looks like an SOS. Who would have thought we'd make a good team? When we got back to New York, we could start a company. SOS company? Billboards, signs, and beyond? What do you think? Wow, great. And the first sign we'll change is Mary's. Guaranteed business, I like it. Let's get practicing with this one first. There are lots of fallen twigs in this place. Great, let's gather up as many as we can. Will those work? No, they're too small and the others are not dry enough. Even if you try, they won't break. You right, we'll never light the bonfire with them. We're lucky to be stuck here with you and your wife. She's a natural leader. She won't let us give up hope. And she's doing nothing, actually. That's my Katie, a strong and brave woman. I admire her, and that's why I love her more and more every day. I'll tell the truth. I'll play. Well, I'll tell the truth. Thanks for what you said about me. But if I'm all those things you said, it's because of you. Another day of searching lost sun. I don't know if I can take it anymore. We have to stay positive. We know they're alive. It's only a matter of time before we find them. We have to redouble the search. You're right. I won't stop until we bring them back. Thanks for your support. I'm going back to New York tonight. I'm having dinner with Mary and Celestine. I want to see how they're doing. All right, I'll stay in a hotel nearby. Cheer up, we'll try again tomorrow. How are you gonna double the search? What are you doing? I'm trying to fix this. And to think that radio was on the plane and I never learned to use it? I could never fix it. The same thing happens to all of us. We relax when everything's all right. And we forget to learn to do things that could save us. I know something about electronics. I think I can fix it. If you need me, I'll be here. I'll ask Miles. Maybe he knows more than we do. What are you doing? I'm looking at the stars. Stargazing, huh? I'm trying to figure out the location of the island. During the day, I figure out the compass points next to the sun. Now I'm studying the constellation to figure out where we are. Could we use the stars to help them find us? Maybe. Do you think it's a good idea? Well, you do you, Miles. Help me with radio? No. Continue stargazing. I think it's a great idea. You continue with the stars. I'll work on the radio. Okay. Now it's perfect. Let's go back to the camp. It's very late. I'm not leaving. I'll stay to make sure nothing happens to it. Nobody will see it at night, Leonardo. I don't care about that right now. I want to make sure it's still intact tomorrow. Aren't you afraid of being alone? Nothing's gonna happen. Don't worry. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you, Leonardo. What a coward. What was that? A wolf? A lion? A monster? Zombies? She gave me her cowardice. That woman! Emily, wait! Yeah, what a coward. It's incredible how many ingredients there are on this island. Let's have a delicious meal instead of handing out what we have. It will help to cheer up the group a little. No, let them have what's there to eat. What's there to eat? Alright, 
next to feast. Excellent idea! Let's make a feast! I take back all the things I've ever said about you, Katie! You did great! You really did magic with the ingredients! You're awesome! This hot meal is everything! Once again, you saved the day! Well, actually, the night! We'll be happy to wake up tomorrow and face the day! You're exaggerating? Not at all! We'd start without you! The credit is not mine! It was Macy's idea! We did it together! It's a shared credit! We make a great team! Congratulations! You made everyone happy! And especially me! Dinner was delicious, Mary! Thank you! You're welcome! Now that Celestine is asleep, tell me, any news? None! We've searched for many hours with no luck! Every time I have less hope, but Tom has faith! I'm… I'm not that strong! I just want to ask you to look in every last place! I beg you, Sam! I don't want to lose my granddaughter! Dream about a love without borders! What now? What is he singing? Emily, are you alright? Does he look alright to you? You're burning up with a fever! Is he sick or just homesick? Thank you for watching! Have a wonderful day! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys on our next journeys!